Bird Sanitarium. Who said coots are crazy? Is it not crazier to hatch a nut, to make a spoon of bills, to pipe in sand, to have painted your head red, to make a rough star linger, to have a puff to rob a raven, to find a lover of peas and be for a pea, to suck sack till your belly yellows, to shear water with a foot of flesh, to skew a polar south, to leech petrol from a storm, to swallow a bank, a cave, a cliff, a barn, or a tree, to see birds coming as they surf on cows, to tattle on a wandering cinnamon teal, to turn elegant and black and royal as a sandwich. To have bridled a mouse to a tent To turn a stone black with the wag of a tail To make wings of cedar wax To pack the ladder back with wood To choose between greater or lesser yellow legs To be bitter in America To be a bewitcher of the Tao To be bunting indigo snow with a bat To cover your back in canvas and chat With a Mexican chick? Well, I declare, is it not crazier for a thrasher to turn the trogs on? Yeah! Yeah! For the big dipper to grow for fish, to pin a tail on a duck or mourning on a dove. Is it not crazier to coo at the cook, lewd as a cur, long in the bill but golden cheek? Now that wars of blur and hooded red-faced hermits craft bills with cranes on a hill of sand to calm the prairie after the fall to catch flies, to catch flies with a dusky olive-sided Pacific slope to try to outwit God with a golden eye or goose the emperor cackling in the snow.